In our previous session, we took a look at working with the objects Docker in Corel Photo Paint. In this session, I want to take a look at working with objects inside of your raster workspace or your image space in Corel Photo Paint. Handle objects a little bit differently in that workspace than we can with our vector objects here in Corel Draw. We want to take a look at that in this session. I'm going to scroll down here. I've got a couple of raster objects down here. I've got a soccer ball. We'll go ahead and have that selected and just click on edit bitmap and that'll open our soccer ball in Corel Photo Paint. Once that's open I want to go ahead and maximize that and what I want to do is I want to knock out the white background that I have around this object so that all I have is the object and then I have transparency. To do that I'm going to go over here to my rectangle mask tool, left click, hold down, come down to the magic wand tool got my tolerance set at 2. I'll go ahead and click and you can see that I've created a mask around that. I want to go ahead and show you something while we're here. I'm going to hit Control Z and I'm going to change the tolerance of this to 100. I'm going to hit Enter and then I'm going to go ahead and click on this and I've just created a mask but I can't see anything because my tolerance was set to 100. I've selected everything. If we go up here to Mask, we'll see that we have the option to remove a mask. Now that I've set this up with a mask at 100 and I can't see it, if I go back and change my tolerance to 2, and click on the object, I'm still not going to get a mask. I might get confused thinking that I can't apply a mask, but the fact is I already have a mask applied. Go ahead and click here and click on remove. Change this tolerance to 25. Go ahead and click here and we can see we get a whole bunch of our objects because we've got a lot of white against white and with our tolerance up higher we're moving in selecting pixels that have similar shades of color or white. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z. We'll take our tolerance back to 2 and click here. I'm going to zoom in and take a look and I can see I've got a nice mask but I've got some data here I don't want to have. I picked some, I've got some mask coming into the area where I don't want it to be. I'm just not going quite in as far as I want it to my mask here. Go ahead and fix that. I'll go to Mask, Mask Outline and I'll select Expand. Go with one pixel and select OK. Now you can see that I'm set up as a background and I've got this mask. If I try to hit delete to knock out that background, it's not going to work. What I need to do is come over here and click on the background and change that to object one. And then I'll hit delete and that'll get rid of the area behind my bitmap. Another thing you want to pay attention to is what tools you have selected from the toolbar when you're working with your objects. For example, I have a mask here and I'm thinking, well, I can hit delete and I'll get rid of that white area. But actually what's going to happen is I'm going to delete the entire object because I have the pick tool and not the magic wand tool. I'll hit control Z, go back to the magic wand tool and with that selected my background changed to an object, go ahead and hit the delete key and I'll remove that white background from my soccer ball. I'm going to go ahead and go to mask and I'm going to go ahead and go to remove here or I could hit control R. So now I have an object set up here in my pixel workspace I guess you could call it here in photo paint or my image. I can go ahead and left click here and scale the image. I can also, just like a vector object, left click, hold down, change its width, same thing here, change its height. But you'll notice here in Photo Paint, up here in the properties bar, that we have some things associated with our pick tool that we don't have in Corel Draw, and that is distort and perspective right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. One thing you'll notice is when you click your objects, I'll click again and I'll change to rotate. I'll click again and now I'm in distort and if I come and take these handles left click hold down I can start to distort the shape of the ball dynamically and interactively here in photo paint as you can see right there if I come here to what is perspective or click on the object again I'll have the perspective functionality of the pick tool available and I could left click and start to change the perspective of the raster object in photo paint just like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z. We'll go back. I'm going to go back to Mask, Remove. I'm going to go to Position and Size node mode, and I'll just resize this. And you'll notice, I'll also notice that you have a right click here, and you can apply your transformation with that. And then I can right click here, and I've got some different options here. I can arrange, combine, drop shadow, etc., select all and I can also click on duplicate and I'll go ahead and click that right here now you can see I've got object 3 which came out on top when I duplicated it right click again and select du duplicate now I've got three soccer balls 
Now, very much like working with draw, even though I've got multiple objects set up, if I hold down shift, I can select all of my objects together. And they're selected all of, I can see what's selected over here in the objects docker, and I can also see it in my workspace by where the handles are. And if I wanted to, I could click through to, let's say, perspective mode and add perspective to all three of these together. As you can see right there. Now, right here, we've got apply transformation now that we've done that and we can click that and that will be applied so we want to be aware of how we can work with and handle these objects in our pixel or raster workspace in photo paint also like draw if I have objects piled on top of each other and I select the top object hold down alt I can select my objects going through the order here's four three and one I can also hold down shift and alt and select multiple objects just like I can in the Corel Draw workspace. This is just a brief introduction to handling and working with your objects and moving them around in your pixel or raster workspace in Corel Photo Paint. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.